Guys, we are not going to be making this Oreo cookie giant. No, we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see it on your mobile device. So I'm with Emma from Emma's Goodies, a channel that specializes in baked goods. I absolutely love Oreo cookies. I have a bunch of Oreo cookie recipes. So if you wanna see more stuff I make, you should um, just click in the description box below and the link will be there. Okay, so 200 grams of flour. Then we need cocoa powder, 50 grams. 100 grams of powdered sugar. This is just to mix the dry ingredients. Because using a spoon is so overrated. I know, right? <laughs> you can blitz it to stir it, you can stir yeah, it to stir you it, can. and you don't even need a spoon to stir it, you can use scissors. 150 grams of butter. And the eggs. Just like a baby. And we're gonna add a little bit of black food coloring, just to get that, you know, Oreo color. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, let's blend. Oh, that is perfect. And then you just bring it together. Oh, it's squishy, guys. We're making an Oreo cookie. These things are my favorite. It reminds me of my childhood. Guys, we're cooling it because if you put it in the oven at this temperature, then it will just melt down like this. And that's not what we're trying to do. You've seen an Oreo. It's got a top and a bottom. They're basically doing the same thing again, so we can just zip through that. Well, I think what they can do is exactly what we did again, or double it up in a larger thing. Like that, yeah. Two cookies and just make the cookie not as big. Or not use one and just do it all by hand. So I think it's pretty basic. Oh, okay, so now I'm confused. Or they can use that same recipe, split that into two cookies. And it's not an Oreo cookie without the Oreo pattern. I don't know how they're gonna do this. I know I'm not gonna do this, but I don't know how they're gonna do this because look at how intricate that is. Julia, how are you gonna do this? A little bit of hard work, good luck, strong effort, and talent. Just have to be really talented. We only have about five more minutes before this dough is no longer usable. Julia, can you do this in time? Can you do it? Are you nervous? Honestly, I have a sharp object in my hand right now, and this is just not the right time for an interview. It's 100 degrees in here. I need to jump into a pool. I'm you freaking- You haven't helped at all. All I... you're doing is talking. I am helping. This is, this is helping right here. Now for a time lapse of Emma and Julia cleaning. So right now, Julia's making these indentations using the back of a spatula. Marvelous. This one's going in very fragile, guys. Brace it from the bottom. You don't want it to crack. 30 seconds remaining. A little sweaty. It's so hot. It's sweaty. This is a ridiculous project. Julia, can you do this in time? Can you do it? And five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Hands up. Hi, I'm Emily Taytek from the Wilton Test Kitchen. Today I'm here to show you Wilton's classic buttercream. It's a great recipe because it's soft enough that you can spread it on your cake, but it's sturdy enough that you can almost oh, beautiful crap. decoration. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Trying to Be Binging with Babish. And today we're going to show you how to make buttercream frosting. You're going to start off with 100 grams of softened butter. Being soft is important, that way your butter isn't hard. Having hard butter would result in a not soft consistency. You're also going to need this. If you can't pronounce it, that usually means it's better quality. We're going to add 200 grams of this. And lastly, we're going to add this perfume sample we got in the mail for some additional flavor. Fold the ingredients around. Don't jump the gun and use this. Just fold it. And there you have it, buttercream frosting. I feel like the flavors came together quite nicely and the measurements were spot on. The beauty of this buttercream frosting is that it pairs exceptionally well with an Oreo cookie. So with that being said, let's move on to our next step. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's finally done. We have to take it out of the oven. Yes. Yes! Gorgeous. Dude, after 14 hours, we're finally done. Our Oreo cookies are done, but they have to rest for 30 minutes before we play with them. Let's see, here we go. <gasps> Who broke the cookie from the cookie jar? Uh, Julia. Julia, the other cookie. No. The other no. cookie broke? <gasps> okay, 
It's okay, we can fix it. <gasps> can you help me like oh, no. push the back? Push the back. It's breaking more. It is? Oh my gosh. Just a little propagation here and here. Actually, that's not propagate, that's a complete crack. But anyway, in this step, we're gonna use JP's awesome buttercream frosting to pipe it onto our Oreo cookie. Now our professional baker is using a knife to evenly spread on the frosting. Oh, mamacita, just, oh, no. okay. oh. oh. How are we gonna pick this up now? Really? Here, you grab One, two, two. Oh, oh. oh no, is it breaking? It's it's breaking. Here, this is how we have to do it. Ready? Oh my god. Trust. Wait, wait what? No, Julia. Okay, Emma, you're there in you charge go. of holding it. Okay. There you go. You got it? I got it. Okay, let's go outside. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than any other Oreo recipe I've ever tasted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. The frosting, though, give credit to JP. It's excellent. It's like an above average size Oreo. Not a giant one, guys. You changed your shirt seven times in this video? No, no, only twice. Mm -hmm. Pizza, pizza. JP, are you eating the giant Oreo in bed? Why do you always do this? JP, this isn't even your house. You're gonna get cookie all over these sheets. There's no table. What? Where are you right now? I'm in another bed. Oh. No, there's another table there. You could eat on. Don't show them that. 